people are freaking out about nothing. So there's this new MIT report. It says that 95% of AI pilot programs are failing in businesses. Sort of. It's more subtle. But the report itself is not very good. It's also really hard to find. If you want to actually find it, go to mlq.ai. So the report starts with this big scary figure. And this is as far as most people got. A surprising result, 95% of organisations are getting zero returns. Now, I could go through point by point why this study's not very good, but there's one sentence that basically collapses it. If you want to cut through the noise a bit, I run a daily live at 10am London time every Monday to Friday, and you can find me on YouTube, uh, that's probably the best place, where I take audience questions and we read through the news of the day and try and cut through all the hype and come out with the truth. Oh, and I have a free newsletter which I send out every day, which is a summary of the live, so make sure to check them both out. General LLM chatbots appear to show high pilot implementation rates, 83%. What's happening in reality is that staff members, people who actually work for these companies, are starting to use AI. It's just they're using it in ways that aren't coming from top down, so not what the management and the leadership are telling them to use it for. Any successes, time-saving, productivity gains that come at this level with staff using ChatGPT, for example, on a daily basis, is not measured as success in this study. The only thing that counts as success in this studies are these top-down pilot projects coming from leadership and management, who are trying to basically impose AIs into existing workflows. So no wonder they're getting bad results. They're trying to do AI from the top down without actually asking the staff members, hey, uh, what would this be useful for? These are dumb projects and they're not working. Even more damning is this. Only 40% of the companies in the study actually purchase LLM subscriptions, but over 90% of the companies had workers who were using personal AI tools for work tasks. Which further goes to show that the staff members, the actual employees, are working out how to use this stuff, and they are even going against the rules, and they're using unsanctioned tools to do so. So this study does not tell me AI is not working. It tells me that it damn well is working. It's just happening at the grassroots level rather than executives telling people what to use AI for and then being surprised that it's not working. And because this study has so narrowly defined the success of a pilot project, it means we're ignoring all of the good stuff that's getting done on the day-to-day -day by the actual people doing the work. But nobody's actually bothered to read this paper, um, so we're just looking at the headlines and being like, oh my god, 95% of AI fails! And this is feeding into a narrative of, oh my god, AI is a bubble and it's all going to crash. No, just read this study, it's 26 pages long, people. They've made it bizarrely hard to get hold of as well. If you go to the official site, you need to fill out a form and they send it to you. I mean, come on. We need to do better than this, both in terms of overhyping AI and in terms of overhyping its demise. Like in all things, the truth is somewhere in the middle.